Hello and welcome to Chemistry Basics. Today, topic of our study is periodic properties. In periodic properties, we are going to study atomic radar, ionization energy or it is called ionization potential, electron affinity and electronegativity. First one is periodic properties. In the modern periodic table or long form of periodic table, elements are arranged in order to increasing their atomic number. In this, vertical columns are known as groups. Vertical columns are known as groups and horizontal rows are known as periods. Here the horizontal rows are known as periods. The properties follow a particular trend at regular intervals and these properties are known as periodic properties. Let us discuss periodic properties one by one. First one is atomic radar. Atomic radar is the distance from the center of nucleus to the outermost shell containing an electron. It is the distance from the center of nucleus to the outermost shell containing an electron. Let us see the trends in a periodic table. What is the variation in a period if we move from left to right in a periodic table? If we move from left to right in a periodic table, the atomic radar decreases. Here the atomic radar decreases. Because if we move from left to right in a periodic table, effective nuclear charge that means number of protons present in the nucleus goes on increasing. So, the pull or attraction between the nucleus and outermost electron increases. So, uh, if you move along the period from left to right, atomic rate decreases. Now, what will be the trend or variation in a group? If we move in a group from top to bottom, the atomic radii increases. If we move from top to bottom in a periodic table, atomic radii increases. Because when we move from top to bottom, electrons each time added in a new shell, so atomic radii increases. Next periodic property is ionization potential or it is also called as ionization energy. Ionization energy is when we want to remove electron from isolated gaseous atom in its ground state. Then we need to supply the energy. The energy required to remove an electron from the isolated gaseous atom in its ground state is known as ionization energy or it is also called as ionization potential. Energy needed to remove the first electron is known as first ionization energy. It is called as first ionization energy. But if we want to remove the same electron, elect, uh, one electron from this positive ion, then we need to again supply energy. That energy needed to remove a second electron is known as second ionization energy. And second ionization energy is always greater than that of the first ionization energy because it is more difficult to remove an electron from a positive ion than a neutral atom. Second ionization energy is always greater than that of the first ionization energy. Let us discuss the trend of ionization energy in a periodic table. In a period, if we move from left to right in a periodic table, what happens here? If we move from left to right in a periodic table, ionization energy increases ionization energy increases but there are regular discontinuities in the increased trend across a period. Just example ionization energy of beryllium which has electronic configuration outer electronic configuration 2s2 is greater than that of ionization energy of boron which has outer electronic configuration 2p1. And ionization energy of nitrogen which has outer electronic configuration 2p3 is greater than that of ionization potential of oxygen. Because 
half filled and completely filled orbitals are extra stable so we need to supply more amount of energy to extract electron from that atom if we move from top to bottom in a periodic table here ionization energy decreases because atomic radii or size of atom increases next periodic property is electron affinity electron affinity if you want to add an electron to isolated gaseous atom in a ground state then there is a release of energy there is a release of energy the amount of energy released when an electron is added to a isolated gaseous atom in its ground state and form an anion is known as electron affinity of an element energy involved in addition of first electron is first electron affinity and if you want to add another electron into the same atom then energy involved in addition of second electron is known as second electron affinity here second electron affinity is always negative because repulsion between the electron being added which is negatively charged and already negatively charged atom because like charges repulses see the trend in a periodic table first variation in a period if we move left to right in a periodic table the electron affinity increases if we move left to right in a periodic table electron affinity increases but element having relatively stable electronic configuration find it difficult to accept electrons readily so the beryllium which has outer electronic configuration 2s2 nitrogen which has half filled p orbitals or neon which has completely filled p orbitals has zero electron affinity or we need to supply energy to add electron in these atoms now trend in a periodic table down the group if we move down the group in a periodic table the electron affinity decreases if we move down the group electron affinity decreases but if we compare the electron affinity of fluorine and chlorine electron affinity of chlorine is more than that of fluorine electron affinity of chlorine is more than that of fluorine because of the small size of fluorine it is difficult to add electron into the atom of fluorine so chlorine is the atom with highest electron affinity it is the atom which has highest electron affinity next periodic property is electronegativity electronegativity if we consider the electrons are shared between two atoms now one of the atom has highest ability to attract shared electron pair toward itself if any atom has highest ability to attract shared electron pair towards itself that is known as electronegativity so electronegativity is the attraction exerted by an atom on the electron pair bonding it to another atom by covalent bond see the variation of electronegativity along in a periodic table variation in a period if we move left to right in a periodic table the electronegativity increases if we move left to right in a periodic table electronegativity increases and if we move down the group in a periodic table the electronegativity decreases down the group electronegativity decreases so fluorine here is the most electronegative atom in a periodic table fluorine is the more electronegative atom in a periodic table thank you Thank you very much keep watching and subscribe the channel for more videos thank you